came to know about Frappe from this, and here I talked about uh, Frappe and also won the competition. Talking about my journey, it has been almost one and a half years since I've been working on this software. And you know, the experience has been pretty great. Uh, after my conference last year, I uh, continued working the way I was doing, and I, everything was going fine, or at least I thought so. After talking to some of our support team members and some of our internal team, I realized that there are big gaps in Frappe Help Desk. Even Ankush from our team wrote a ranting game plan post where he was talking about the current state of Help Desk and where it can go. This made me realize that what impact this kind of software makes in the life of agents. And that day I decided that, you know, uh, I will m work on the features that will enhance the experience of agents, and that's what we did. Starting with custom views, one of the most common operations an agent does on daily basis is see the ticket from various resources, maybe a ticket with high priority, or some open status tickets, or maybe a ticket from some customers. So previously, agents had to you know, alter between these filters again and again, but now, with the help of custom views, what we can do is, in the list view, we can add our filters, uh, the customer and the priority. And along with that, we can create a view out of it. Once we create a view, we have two options. The first one is that uh, we, can, we can either pin the, public, pin the view so that it is easily accessible on the sidebar, but we can also make a view public so that it is accessible to the whole organization. Now, this feature is also available on the customer portals of the site as well. Talking about the ticket view, this is where most of the time is spent by agents. This is where they spend most of their time. And let us see what value does it really provide to the agents. So all of the data that would possibly be there is bombarded on the right side panel. The contact information, the feedback, the SLA, the core tickets to the core data, and along with the custom fields. So this did not, does not really provide some distinction between these kind of dis data, which provide, which deserve separate spaces. So we decided to give it a revamp. So presenting to you the new ticket view. With the help of this new UI, agents can focus on the things that really matters. So for example, SLA is now at the top, which is clearly distinct from the other area. Feedback is color coded to easily see the feedback. The core fields are in this manner, which are clearly separated from the core field, uh, custom fields, which are added. There is also a contact tab so that we can see more information regarding the person who is raising the ticket. Not only this, uh, we have improved the UI UX of the ticket view, but we have also introduced many features, starting with agent collision. So let us imagine that let, I am working on this ticket. So there is a possibility that some other agent might also be working on the same ticket at the same time. Previously, there was no way to know whether that was the case, but now we do. As soon as some agent lands on this particular ticket, we will see the indicator on the right top corner. And let us say if I start drafting some kind of response and the other agent also starts drafting response, we will see the uh, indicator on the side as well, providing a clear dis So yeah, that was agent collision. So talking about the next feature, which is recent and similar tickets. As soon as some user uh, raises a ticket, we can now see in the side panel the recently tic raised tickets by that customer. And along with that, we can also see the similar tickets, which have the similar queries. So that if the ticket is already resolved uh, in some, with similar query, we, the agent can refer to that and you know see the response and help this ticket customer to resolve their issue faster. One of the major themes, as Michelle men mentioned, was that we are moving features from desk to front end, and that's what we did. Starting with SLAs, SLAs can now be created from the front end itself. We can add the assignment conditions. Previously, we had to write uh, a lot of code for uh, adding the assignment conditions, but the, well, with the help of new UI, we have made the experience much better. We can add the first response and resolution time, we can add the working hour for each day. And along with that, we can also add the holiday list. 
in the holiday list has as it has major improvements we can add recurring holidays such as every sunday and saturday is a holiday in my company i can add that and i can even add a custom holiday like independence day after doing so i can uh, i can link that holiday list to the sla so whenever a ticket is created with this sla this holiday list is matched similarly we have also moved assignment rules to the front end so we can create assignment conditions similar to slas and here we can select the assignment schedule we can select the ticket routing rules which is basically the round robin or ticket assignment based on workload we can add the assignees and the assignment rule is created as the year went by we started gaining more traction and we started you know uh, getting a lot of people started using it uh it came to a point you know where people started posting about frappe help desk on platforms like twitter and linkedin and these were like virality movement for help desk throughout the year and within no time the help desk star shoot up from 500 last year to more than 2500 as of now as more people started using this product uh, we started gaining a lot of request the request of some features which we don't need at frappe but what i realized was if i want to cater this software to a wider audience we need to listen to you and so we did and that's where we are now and we are building more features like that so starting with field dependency so with the help of field dependency what we can do is we can select a parent field let's say category and a child field sub category we can select the option for each uh, value from here and based on certain criteria we can make a field mandatory or non mandatory and if the field should be visible in the ticket creation flow or not so now we'll move to the ticket creation flow so once we do so we will uh, let's say if you select help desk we'll set uh, the sub category are automatically filtered and as soon as select the erp next the sub category becomes a uh, mandatory so this gives a great ui and ux for better ticket creation process another major feature request which i have received throughout the year was the integration of telephony like we at frappe most of our ticket comes from customer portal but we realized that a lot of people use a telephone to get support so we have introduced telephony so with the help of this integration we have added uh, two new integrations into the help desk first is exotel for indian customers and twilio for international customers with the help of new ui agents can now contact their customers by clicking on the button here and they can put the number they can select the medium which is either twilio or exotel they can make as a default and they can call this pop up will appear over here and once the call is initiated you can talk to the customer and once the agent is done you can click on the ui and then close the side close it similarly uh, to telephony people also get tickets via emails the what one of the things which we were, we were hearing was was that the email experience was not good so we decided to make it better so now we have better email better email experience starting with email threading uh, so that customers don't lose the context of the tick, of the conversation which they are having acknowledgement email so that whenever a customer raises a ticket in the system an acknowledgement email is automatically sent to the person who has raised it the feedback email so uh, previously we used to collect feedback only for the tickets raised by customer portal but that is not the case now and most importantly whatever emails you are uh, you are seeing you, you just show you just saw are highly custom are customizable with the help of customized templates so you can use jinja templating over here and you can basically change the email content according to your needs again one of the most requested feature features after telephony was custom statuses previously held as restricted users to uh, use only four statuses but not now we can have as many statuses as we want we can map it to sla and this will be shown in the new ui of the ticket talking about the other side of things as the manager of the company or as the ceo of the company i want to say you know 
the bird eye view of my organization, how my team is performing, how my team is giving support, how an agent, how a particular agent is giving support. And so we introduced dashboards. With the help of dashboards, we can select a date range for that. And apart from that, we can see the data. We can even see the ticket, uh, information about a particular team and a particular agent as well so that we can see you know which agent is the best performer of this week or which is the worst performer so what's next right there are a lot of features that we are going to introduce in the upcoming months and years but all of those features uh, are catering to one vision which i have for helpdesk and that is to uh, make it the default uh, product uh, if any company in the world wants to provide support to their customers and so, uh, the aim is that basically the agent should be happy while using it the customer should be happy while receiving the responses and that's it so we can, you can track all of our uh, features which we are working on in this roadmap over here as michel mentioned you can add some enhancement requests in the by by creating an issue and if it is good enough we'll take care from that so thank you so much everyone